how about now do I have your attention now good check this out we've all been brought to our wits end by poor customer service but if you're familiar with this company stay tuned to the following emails and see what I dealt with this first email came January 20th 2020 alerting me to the fact that I had a free trial for seven days of the Disney Channel and if I wanted to keep it I just didn't have to do anything but I wrote them three times telling them do not charge me for this because I'm in Thailand I don't want nothing to do with the Disney Channel I don't have a TV my, I no longer have a Roku device but that didn't stop them from charging me even though I sent them an email telling them do not charge me I'm not interested in it I did figure out on the PayPal website that it was a subscription and it was probably turned on based on the seven day free trial. I was able to turn it off but not before they got my initial $8.99 US seven, or $9.44 Canadian. This email was the email that prompted a flurry of activity in their chat room with me. Every one of those uh, emails is a, them passing me off to somebody else and cutting me off and reconnecting me with zero results. They can have my $9.44. I'm only doing this video on principle. It's unbelievable how they treat people and think they can get away with it. So I hate doing these kind of videos, but somebody has to reveal to the general public who they really are and how they treat people. The last screenshot is an actual email from them asking me to click the link to submit to a survey concerning their customer support. But it's a dead link, surprise, surprise. Um, so this is my response to their customer service. Thanks Roku for stealing my money. I'm out.